I want to destroy a myth. That's what I want to do. It's this mistaken belief that people have that entertainers go from city to city and wherever they're appearing, girls mob them and tear their clothes off and ravish them. When? Now, I admit that you meet a lot of girls, but you got to be careful. After the incident that happened to me in Chicago a couple of months ago, I mean, it's the last night of the show. One of the guys in the band says to me, it's going to be a party tonight after the show. You want to go to the party? Yeah, I want to go to the party. <laughs> so he says, you got to bring your own date. Everyone has to bring their own date. So I tell him, wow, I don't know if I can make it now. I only know one young lady here in town. I doubt if she can get ready on such short notice. He said, look, he said, I got a girl's name in my address book. Yeah, here it is. Her name is Lulu. She has her own car. Sports car, white wall tires, stereo, stick shift, seat folds back into a bed. <laughs> said she'll pick you up, bring you to the party, and take you home. Said, I'm pretty sure no one's asked Lulu. Thought runs through my mind, how come no one's asked Lulu? <laughs> I say to him, I said, how does she look? He said, wait till you see that car. <laughs> White wall tires, stereo, stick shift, seat folds back into a bed. I said, but how does she look? He said, she'll pick you up, bring you to the party, and take you home. <laughs> I said, well, what does she look like? He said, you want to go to the party or don't you? He gives me a number. It's a five-digit number. I go to the phone, dial four digits, and Lulu answer. <laughs> Go. She picks me up, we go to the party. I'm in the party about 15 minutes when the host comes over. He said, look, I want to talk to you. He said, come here. I said, did you bring Lulu? You bring the broad who looks like someone hit in the face with a bag of nickels? So I said, yeah, what about it? He said, get her out of here. I said, I don't want her in my party. I said, she's been here 15 minutes and she started three arguments. So I tell him, well, why not speak to those other people? Talk to them, make them leave her alone, and she'll be all right. He said, look, I'm not speaking to anyone else. You get her out of here. He said, she just smacked Sonny Liston. So Sonny's looking for the guy that brought her to the party. I said, you tell her to meet me at the car. When Lulu arrives at the car, she wants me to drive. I can't drive. I've been drinking. I'm not going to get behind that wheel when I've been drinking. I know how I drive after I've had a few. I've already promised myself, if I drive, I'm not riding in there. She's drunk, she can drive. <laughs> so we leave the party. Lulu's driving. <clears throat> and I notice she's holding a wheel with one hand, and on her lap she has a small brown bag. Holding the wheel, the bag. <clears throat> There's an intersection, a red light. Zoom. Lulu ran the light. Get it? Zoom. She ran that light. Then she came back and got the car. <laughs> She ran the light, a policeman saw us, he chases us, pulls us over, he approaches the car, the officer's a perfect gentleman. He approaches the car, I said, lady, you ran the light back at the intersection. But in this instance, I'm not going to give you a ticket. I'm merely going to warn you and suggest that in the future when you're approaching an intersection that you exercise a little more caution. She said, I did what? <laughs> I ran what light? She said, I didn't run any light. This looks to me like police brutality. <laughs> The officer said, lady, don't get upset. I'm not going to give you a ticket. It's only a warning. Don't get upset. She said, what do you mean, don't get upset? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm driving along here drunk. <laughs> he turns back to the officer said, you can't give me a ticket for nothing. How much is a nothing ticket? She said, I didn't run any light. That light didn't change until I was in the middle of the intersection. She said, I saw the light, and I saw you. And I saw you see me. And you saw me see you see me. This is the same way that ride started in Los Angeles. <laughs> now I realize how critical this thing's become, and it's up to me to straighten it out. So I lean over and I say, Officer, she ran the light. I realized there was a possibility of her running the light, and I tried to warn her. But before I'd gotten it out, she'd pass through the intersection. So I appreciate you are not giving us a ticket, leaving it at the warning stage, and she's sorry. She said, I'm what? <laughs> what do you mean? How are you going to tell this man that I'm sorry? She said, I started this argument with the officer. I don't need you to sit there and Ralph bunch my argument. <laughs> she said, I'll handle my problems. You're sitting there with a bag of LSD on your lap. <laughs>